relationship capital. Relationship capital. I have you repeating things after me, not because like I want you to join my choir or nothing, but I did love <coughs> Sister Act Two, the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's because despite our 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 background differences, despite where we come from, our zip code differences, we are one tribe in here. Okay? And when you hear the voices unite, there's a certain energy and vibration to it. This brother right here, right there, stand up, stand up, stand up. He looked real buff to me, okay? But, but he's been, thank you, he's been figuring out his goals and dreams. He's part of Stephen De La Cruz's mastermind, okay? I hope you tell him about this. Okay, have a seat, brother. All right, so, you know, his, to be a part of his mastermind, it costs $30,000. Okay, now you look way cuter now than some people that's in here. Okay? <laughs> so let me tell you why. Because of relationship capital. Mm. Relationship capital. And I would not even, Tom Gay would not be here if I just cold called him. Mm. Tom Gay is here because Brett Lavitt is here. Mm. And he vouched for me. Everybody say somebody's going to vouch for me. Somebody's going to vouch for me. Not me, though. No, just playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking with you. We're here to have a good time. But let me tell you who vouched for me. My brother that taught me the definition of tribe. My brother that taught me to actually, when I was thinking about running for office, Donald Wilson Bush was my campaign consultant. But this guy helped me with new languaging that, that allowed me to stay in my lane. And I was able to call him when no one else believed in me. When I experienced a hard time and I was in the hospital, it was Dr. Cecile that had my back. And who called me on the payphone while I was in the hospital? This man right here, Mr. Brett Labbitt. So I want you to applaud like it was not just Beyonce, but Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say something real? Yeah. This man is a cultural hero. Please listen to him. Please. Thank you. I'm honored and I'm humbled. Uh, it'll be how long? Five minutes? You got it. You got, you right. got seven, bro. Seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> it's going to take eight and a half, so we're going to squeeze it in. It's so good to be here with you in Tribe. And you're, you're at the center of your universe. You know, you heard the saying before. The world doesn't revolve around you. The truth is it actually does. Your world revolves around you as an authentic leader. These lenses here, these are leader lenses, right? Everything starts with you. And you carry about you an energy. You carry about you a presence and a philosophy and principles and values. You know, leadership has always been taught as you lead, they follow. I want to give you a, a, a new look on that. Lead yourself well first. Just lead yourself well. When you do that, everything is going to come to you. You lead yourself well and you will attract. As you attract, you're going to need to nurture. And as you nurture, you're going to convert. Say convert. Convert. Convert, convert to what? Right now, you might be programmed, convert a client, convert a friend, convert a collaborator. How about you convert to the highest and best. Mm. Yes. Why don't you leave the agenda out and just say, I'm going to lead myself well. As I lead myself well, I'm going to convert. Convert to what? The highest and best. What is that? We're going to discover it together. How many of you know more than 50% of the people in the room? Okay. How many of you know more than 20% of the people in the room? Now, of those people you know, What's important to them? Do you know? If you know, you're well on your way to building a thriving tribe. Because if it's, well, I know jo uh, Jonathan is doing, what are you doing, Jonathan? Uh, real estate education. Okay, real estate ed education. That's what he does, but do you know what's important to him? Travel. Travel. <laughs> <laughs> I know what's important to her and her. Right? No, him. But if you lead yourself well and you're a steward of the three things you can steward, which is your time, money, and energy, you're a good steward of your time, money, and energy, then you're going to invest that not into what you sell, but what's important to the people that are in your tribe. 
and you're going to establish five things when you do that. Okay, and I'm just going to leave you with this because I know we got a lot of great people. No, take four more minutes. Okay, four more minutes. All right. You're leading yourself well. You're not looking to build followers. You're looking to inspire people to lead themselves well. This builds a thriving tribe. If you build followers, you spin plates and you tire. Jesse, is it tiring? It's yeah. tiring to spin plates, isn't it? Yeah, you don't want to do that. Yeah, you don't want to be spinning <laughs> plates, trying to make people what you want them to be. How about you allow people to be what they, they are, you accept them the way they are, and always encourage the highest and best. Yes. How do you encourage the highest and best? By being the highest and best. Mm -hmm. If you're worried about competition, but you're not your highest and best yet, that's the least of your concerns. Mm -hmm. Get to your highest and best, then competition might be a factor, but it really won't. You'll find out that it doesn't exist when you get there. Because you're going to attract to you your tribe. And when you attract them, you want to do five things. Number one, if you're taking notes, you want to establish culture. And I'm so bold to establish culture the minute I start talking in a meeting. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, stop. I, I get that you're in sales predator mode. I love you anyway, but just stop for a second. Let me create the culture for you. Sales predator mode. You yeah. they, they missed that. Uh, okay. Tell, tell them, that, tell them yeah. what that means. Hit the rewind button. Okay. Really whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. Give right? that. I get that you're in sales predator mode. Just stop for a second. Let me tell you why I wanted to have this phone call. Let me tell you why I wanted to have this meeting. Let me tell you why I wanted to drive from Phoenix and be in Fullerton. We're in Fullerton, right? Yes. We're in Fullerton. <laughs> no, we're in Phoenix. <laughs> he came here tonight all the way from Phoenix. The one day I right? Here's why I'm in Fullerton. Because I know that there's something that's important to you and I want to discover it. And here's how it works. If I discover what's important to you and you discover what's important to me, and we're mindful of what's important to the collective, then it's win, 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 and, and we can continue this. But if you're in sales predator mode, if you're just looking to shotgun your business card, if you're just looking to sell the next widget, I've got a million people I'm connected to that want to do that. Hey, Brett, I'm a real estate agent. Okay, great. What would you like from me? Well, I want your referrals. You and 45,000 other agents in Phoenix. Oh, right. Tell me why. And it's a fair question, right? Why? Why you? You know what the real answer is? Not I'm best in customer service. Not I'm number one in real estate. Not I sell a lot of homes. Not because I get my, uh, my company's uh, properties or my client's properties sold. Here's why. Because I'm going to set real estate aside and make you important. That's why I'm your agent. Mm. So. Mm. That's what it means to build a thriving truck. See, right now you have contacts and network, and what I'd like you to do is apply these five things to convert that to thriving tribe. Number one, establish the culture. Teach them win, win, win. You win, I win, and the tribe wins, or we simply don't do it. <coughs> if I win and you lose, we, it's no <coughs> deal. We're not gonna do it. If I win, you win, and the tribe loses, let's not do it. It's not sustainable. So establish a positive, empowering, and productive culture. Number two, create a true mastermind. I'm listening to Donald Wilson Bush, and I'm listening to John Leslie Brown, and of course anyone else that shares tonight, and all of you, and we've had some great visits. And as we do that, I'm thinking to myself, man, what a great thing to come together and share intellect and share ideas and just be able to have the true mastermind. That's number two. Number three, real collaboration. See, mastermind is mental action. Real collaboration is physical action. Someone has to get off their seat. <laughs> I got that. That was, right? so, that was so strategic, thank you. Someone has to get off their seat and take action and, and just give first. Your tie goes to the runner. If you're wondering who should take action first, it's you. Okay, that's authentic leadership. You take action first. Number four, create a healthy sense of belonging. Not just to hold hands and sing Kumbaya and have a good time. That's fun, do that in your social life. But if you're building a thriving tribe, if you're building an ecosystem, if you're building a strong microeconomy in your life, then create a healthy sense of belonging that is positive, powerful, empowering, and productive, right? Be inclusive and be careful to judge. 
okay? I can tell you that some of the people that people would look around me and go, why are you doing business with that guy or that girl? Or, and, I, and they turned into some of my biggest assets because I just allowed them to be who they were. I just, you know, a cat is a cat, a dog is a dog, a rattlesnake is a rattlesnake. I get you're a snake, I know you're gonna bite me, so I'm not gonna get so close, but you're still welcome. <laughs> right? Nice. But you don't throw a rattlesnake out of the ecosystem. Stop doing that. It exists in this, in this place called Earth, right? Everyone exists here for a reason. You can't discard people so easily. And the final point is if you really want to achieve significance, which Tom will probably talk about, you must align the effort and energy of people. And the master of that is illustrated tonight in this event by you doing what you're doing here. You're aligning the effort and energy of people. I don't have anything I want from you other than to be here and be what I can be for you. But by doing this, we're aligning effort and energy. Now here's the shame. Here's where you leave Thriving Tribe and go back to contacts and network is you leave this event tonight and go back into your island. Mm. But if you will be mindful of the relationships and connections you build here today, mostly connection. Don't deceive yourself in thinking you built relationship. Relationship is defined by reciprocation. For me, anyway. Okay? Leave here tonight empowered to take the handful of people that you connected with and discover by being open to the highest and best what relationship could look like. Well, that's sir. Right, 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 right. Give Mr. Yeah. Brett yeah. Levitt a round of applause. Let him get his applause first. Give Mr. Brett Levitt a round of applause. Yeah. Raise your hand if you're sick of networking. Yeah. Raise your hand if you want to be a part of a tribe. Well, people care about you more than they do their own business card. Okay, yes, you wanted to say something. Can you teach us what the number one ingredient is of authentic connection? I give first, give consistently, give big, and give back. <laughs> you know, you build connection by serving the other person. You gotta make it 100% about them. That means put the sale aside. You know, I make sales all the time, it's ridiculous. It's almost a game. It's like, there's 100,000, there's 10,000, there's 5,000, there's 2,000. That's not even the game anymore. The game is, can I outserve you? The sales happen when you'll do that. So thanks for the question. I got to get out of here because I was given four minutes, ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being mindful. Now notice what he did. This man drove all the way from Phoenix or flew or took his private jet or whatever he did, right? He might have just flew here on his wings because he's been an angel in my life, all right? I mean that. I appreciate this guy. And he, he came here not knowing what to expect. We were just going to have a meeting, the three of us. And I said, I wanted to show off my friends. And Tom, I 